Hello everyone, my name is Rocky and I will be doing a bearing installation on a Quantum Escalade HD brought to you by Boca Bearings. Okay, so I'm going to show you the free spool mode that is current stock bearings. As you can see, it's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to start with the side plate. There's a little button underneath here. Not sure if you can see it. There you go. You can barely see it right here. Push it. Twist the side plate off. Okay. There's our bearing right there. It's right there. You have to take the lock out. Using a... I use a small flathead screwdriver. Seems to work best for me. Just pry it a little bit. Keep your finger on there so it doesn't fly off. Take it out. Set it aside on your work mat. Sometimes they fall out. Sometimes they don't. Just take your flathead screwdriver and kind of pry on it until it pops out. Okay, got it out. I'm going to set that aside. Take a Q-tip and clean all the grease out. Get it nice and clean. You don't want any grease in there. Get all the grease nice and cleaned out. Get your bearing. And your bearing just pops right in. There's your new bearing. Grab the lock. Place it on there. About halfway on. Then use your flathead screwdriver to push it the rest of the way in. Until it pops into place. Once it's all locked in, that's what it'll look like. Set the side plate aside. Take the spool out. And the bearing on the spool is right there. And again, you have to pop the pin out right there. I use a regular pair of pliers. You can use line spool pliers, which is what's preferred. And you just push down on it, grab it, pops right out. Set it aside on your work mat so you don't lose it. And you can just pull the other bearing right off. Set it aside, grab a Q-tip, clean all, clean off the grease off the shaft there and inside here, clean it all off. Grab your next bearing, and there's your new bearing. Just slide it right on, and it just seats right on there. Grab your pin, make sure you put the pin back in small side into the bigger hole. Once you get it on there, you just press it back up until it's about halfway in. Oh, a little too far. You kind of push it back just a little here. You want it to be about halfway in. You want 
a little bit on each side. And that's just about right. And you set your spool aside. Okay, this reel is a little different than most of my other reels. Normally you can get to the tension knob right here, the bearing inside, but this reel, unfortunately, I took it apart to see how it is done. As you can see, inside right there is a, there's, a, there's a screw that goes here. I took it out just to make this a little bit faster. Okay, grab a Phillips head screwdriver. Take this screw off right here on your handle. Set it aside. Knock off the keeper for your nut so you can grab your pliers. Loosen the nut. Take it off. Set your handle aside. The washer aside. to take off your drag, star drag. Set it aside. Take the drag completely off. I'm going to do it slowly so you don't lose any parts. And keep all the parts together. Okay, now you take your flathead screwdriver. There's a screw here. Set it aside. Some of the screws are different sizes, so try to keep them separate from each other. And another little screw right here. Sometimes you gotta use a smaller screwdriver, which this little flathead comes in handy. Set that aside. Okay, now you should be able to just slide this right off. Do so carefully because there is a bearing inside here that you don't want to lose. Let's set this aside. Okay. Now, the other bearing for the tension knob is right in there. There's another lock keep on there. Can you take your flathead screwdriver? And pry it out of there. Set that aside. And then that bearing just comes out just that easy. Set that aside. Grab your last bearing. right in oh, oh 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 we almost forgot to clean it got ahead of myself take your q-tip handy dandy q-tip you need a few q-tips like three or four wipe all the grease inside that little bearing location once you have it all clean you can just take your bearing and Pop it right in there. Once your bearings in there, take your lock, push it down in there until it's in place. Once you have it back in place, that's what it'll look like and it'll be finished. Now you just slowly put your pieces back together nice and easy because you don't want to lose anything and you don't want anything to be misjumbled again when you're putting
putting this back together. Okay, so these springs got a little bit out of whack. I just kind of straighten them back out. There's a little shaft that goes right through the bearing there that you gotta make sure it goes straight back on. Okay, now you take your screws, start putting them back in one at a time. I always start with the last one I took out first. Tighten that down. Then you take the other screw that goes here. And you gotta make sure that's completely sealed closed again because you don't want dirt or anything to get back in there okay and then the other screw that I didn't take out in the video I'm going to put back in because we want to have our reel completely put back together when we're done I've taken the screw out prior to the video to make it a little bit faster Okay, now our bearing insulation is finished. Now we just have to put our reel back together. So we're going to go and put the drag back on over here. See, that's why you have to make sure you pay attention. There's quite a few little washers and whatnot that goes into these. Okay, that washer's on. Put the drag back on. Take your straw drag. Start drag back on. Put the little washer plate back on. Put your handle. Put your handle back on. Put the handle nut back on. Oops. Sorry guys, dropped it.
put that little keeper back on. You have to adjust it till you get the hole just right to put the screw back in. Okay, now that's all back together. Put your spool back in place. Your side plate back on. Okay, now I'm going to show you free spool mode after the boker bearings. It's still going. And now it's done. I'm going to show you one more time. Now remember, these bearings are not completely broken in yet. As they break in, they will continue to work better and better. And you will get more distance, better sounding reel, better smoother reel. Thank you for your time. Have a good night.